welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be doing a makeup tutorial, doing a full face. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I absolutely love it. I stopped using it for a while, but I just recently started using it again and I just really love it. It's a medium to full buildable coverage, so I'm just going to take it on my blender. Sometimes I prime, but most of the time I don't. If I do prime, I use the Tatcha the Silk Canvas, but I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to be wiping all this off. So I'm just going to go dab it a little bit. I had this matched at Ulta, so if it doesn't match, blend the girl at Ulta. I'm also looking into my mirror. It's right next to me. So if you notice me staring off, I am staring off into something. My face is getting better. I've been using a new moisturizer that the lady at Ulta suggested. It's, I guess, it's the IT Cosmetics one, and I guess it's the number one moisturizer in the world. I forget the name of it, I don't have it in front of me. But I've been really liking it, and she told me that my skin is oily because it is trying to like compensate being dehydrated. So I need to hydrate it more. So I've been not only moisturizing in the morning, but at night as well. I just worked out, and I'm hot and that's why my chest is really red, but don't worry. I will try my best to make my face and my chest match. All right, so now that my foundation's blended, I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way. That's not what it's called. I'm gonna take the Too Faced Conceal. Oh my God. I'm going to get it together, maybe. Yeah, look at the right side, McKinley, not the one that's in a different language. Gosh, I should not be doing this YouTube thing. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I really like this because it is pretty hydrating and I get really dry underneath my under eyes. So I like to use this. And I actually, that's more than what I usually use. And then I just do a little bit because I prime my eyelids with my concealer. But here, and then just a little bit extra coverage on my nose. I don't like to put concealer right here because that gets really dry for me. So I'm just gonna use the same beauty blender. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contour. This is the Makeup Revolution foundation stick. I really like this. I just use it as a contour. So I'm just gonna warm it up on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna dab it on the same sponge that I used. I, beauty blenders are expensive and beauty blenders are my favorite. I've tried the Real Techniques and the Morphe sponge, but this I just is my always go-to. So if you guys have any suggestions on Chi Beauty sponges, just leave a comment down below. I've seen the Juno ones that like fuzzy ones and I really wanna try them. I think they're like six bucks. I saw Nikki Tutorials use them a long, long time ago and I think she still does. So that'd be really cool. So I'm just gonna go kind of right above my cheekbone up here. Hair is getting in the way. I don't want to use a lot. 
just because I don't want to overdo it. So then I'm just going to start blending. And it blends really well. Oh, and this is in the shade F. <laughs> this is in the shade F14. Oh my gosh, I'm not a beauty guru, trust me. So my foundation is in the shade Natural Beige, and then the concealer I have is Vanilla. My goodness. Get it to Gala. This thing right here, can we? I noticed that my contour and my bronzer last much longer when I do a powder contour. So I just like to do this just so it lasts better, but I don't use much of it. Okay, so I'm done with that. So now that I'm done with my creams, I'm going to set my face using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. So I don't bake, but I just leave it on just for a second. I'm not a heavy baker whatsoever, but I do kind of leave it there for just like one minute, pretty much. And then I go around the spots on my face where get, that gets the oiliest. And then up here, of course, my forehead gets really oily throughout the day. So I just always make sure to really set it. And then I'll set the top of my eyebrows as well. <laughs> the top of my eyes as well. I like to press the powder into my face. I just think it makes for a better finish. Now that I'm all done with setting my face, I'm going to go in to the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm just going to take this BH Cosmetics brush. I got it in a kit, and I really like it. It's so, so soft. And I'm just gonna swirl that around, and then I'm just gonna kinda swirl it around my face. whether it you start with it looking absolutely disgusting when you don't have any makeup on and then the second you put makeup on especially foundation your hair looks so good maybe it's just me maybe all right so now that I'm done with the butter bronzer I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer it's in the color saddle and then I'm just gonna go back in, really light-handed, and then go up to those higher portions of my face again. And I have to be careful with this one because it can easily look muddy on me. And I'm gonna bronze my side of my nose, and then go back down. And I always bring my bronzer down onto now I'm gonna go into my blush. This is the same blush I used before. Most of these products, besides the foundation, is everything I used in my last video. So I don't really change it up when I do like my everyday makeup look to my going out makeup routine or whatever it may be. So I'm just gonna use the same blush. This is the Lorac in this color rose. And then I always kind of over blush because it seems to be the first thing that kind of diffuses off my face throughout the day. And it kind of, I don't know, does it make it look more natural to be more blush? I don't know. So now I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I don't know what I'm talking about. And I just go over my entire face and set that into place with the mist and then I once I'm done with my entire face I'll go back in. I'm gonna put my nose ring back in if I can find it. Oh no, did I lose my nose ring? Hello, where are you? Found it. Get in there. Come on. 
You get out of there too. Oh. Shan? There she is. So I have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, but I also have this Love in London by BH Cosmetics. The girl at Ulta suggested this for me and it has some really nice shades on it and it is really, really creamy. I think I'm just gonna go into the Love in London palette. So I'm just gonna go into the color Cheers. And I'm just going to bring that into my crease. So I did lie, I am going to go into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm just gonna use this JH33 brush and I'm gonna dip into this color here. This is Hunt. Or pooter. It's either Hunts or Pooter. It's Pooter. It's Pooter. Now I'm just gonna bring that into my outer corner and then up into my crease. And just so you all know, this isn't like a makeup tutorial to give you guys advice on how to do something because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. I'm wrong, probably. I like it sometimes, so. Don't hate me. This is the Kat Von D ink liner. I'm just going to use this Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is just to put a little coat on before I put the falsies on. To be honest, I don't even know how to put on lashes the right way. I don't ever put on lashes. Am I even gonna do this on camera? No. No, you guys aren't gonna see this. Okay, I got one on. See, that just looks so much better. I mean, I would never wear these in public. What up? Okay, so while that dries and I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I don't do much for my eyebrows. I said that in my last video. So I'm just gonna comb them through. And then this is using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. And I'm just going to kind of just make it a little bit more pointed there. All right, so I'm going to spray my face again with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And I'm going to highlight. I'm gonna use the Cover FX Face Palette. I'm just gonna take this brightener shade. I'm gonna put it on my finger and just go right to the tip of my nose. And then if I ever highlight on my cheekbones, which is not so normal. I'll just use the beauty blender and then I'll just go in. I think it kind of just makes it blend in a little bit better to the skin. I'm just going to go in with a small brush. This is a Luxie 131 mini angled brush. And I'm just gonna take that original shade Cheers. And I'm just gonna go into the bottom. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Then I'm going to go into this cheeky shade with the JH42. I'm just gonna bring that into my corner. Oh my, I just got that in my entire eye. Who let me do this? It's gonna look at me and he is going to walk out of this house. Okay, so I'm going to take the NARS lipstick in the shade Tanika.
so that's it for today's video it was a little all over the place but if you like today's video just hit that like button and leave a comment down below hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video